a remote mountain in Cambodia, there is a school built on trash. Lots and lots of trash. And that's not even the shocking part. Because here, trash is also used as money. And it's probably the only place in the world where trash can be more valuable than money. But before I get into that, let me introduce you to the founder. Hi, it's Nasdali. I am one day. I build the world first school of trash. Oak didn't start out as a teacher. Years ago, he was just a hotel manager. When one day he visited a popular tourist spot in the mountains and what he saw there was shocking. Instead of trees and lakes, he saw trash. Instead of families enjoying the day, he saw kids selling souvenirs. Kids who should have been in school. I went to Kirirom National Park and I could not believe my eyes. I knew about the problem, but I didn't realize it was this serious. And that's when he had a crazy idea. What if he took all this trash, put it together and built a school? It was insane. He didn't know how it would work. The mountain don't have any electric city, any water. There was even a lot of snakes. A lot of snake. But Ook was so passionate about this crazy idea that he quit his job, dropped everything he knew, and moved to the mountains. And he started collecting trash after trash after trash. He used plastic bottles as walls, old car tires as chairs, and empty petrol cans as lockers. He even went one step further and involved the local kids to help gather trash. Bit by bit, Oak's school began to take shape. And four years and countless of pieces of trash later, his school was finished. He called it Coconut School. I made sure I built the rest of the furniture with material that are friendly to the environment. It has computers, internet, and even electricity from solar panels. A good opportunity for the uh, young generation to understand, to love the world more than love yourself, because the world is ourselves. And the craziest thing is, at his school, students do not pay a single penny to learn. They pay with trash. They are poor, they don't have much money to pay. They have to bring the garbage every month for their free school. And with all this rubbish, he built even more tables, more rooms, and even a coffee shop nearby, where you can get a cup of coffee and help fund this school with money or trash. With this idea, poor kids can get an education and the environment gets cleaner. This guy single-handedly built a whole school cleaned a mountain and taught a whole generation to become better all out of trash. Teachers like Oak are the reason the future is bright.